This video is going to show you the complete analysis of a compound circuit containing only capacitors. Now in reality that's a lot to do, so this particular video is only part one of showing the complete analysis of a compound circuit containing only capacitors. But to do the complete analysis you got to have some prior skills. You need to be able to identify electrical components as being either in series or parallel. You need to be able to calculate the equivalent capacitance for capacitors in series or parallel using, using the formulas. You need to know the charge is the same for all capacitors in series and you need to know that char that voltage stays the same for all capacitors in parallel. And finally, you need to know the formula for calculating the energy stored in a capacitor. So there are four basic steps to doing the complete analysis. You got to find the equivalent capacitance for the circuit, the charge on each capacitor, the potential difference across each capacitor, and that's the voltage used up by each one. And finally, the energy stored in the circuit. So that's what we're after. But we're going to pick this off in pieces. This video is going to focus on finding the equivalent capacitance for the circuit. So what I've drawn is a compound circuit made up of four capacitors. A 4 microfarad, 2 microfarad, 24 microfarad, and 8 microfarad. They are connected to points A and B, which are at 36 volts and 0 volts. So the potential difference across the whole circuit is 36 volts. Now when analyzing any kind of circuit, what I want you to do is I want you to do each step individually. And a step counts as when you combine do, do one combination of reducing the number of capacitors or one combination of reducing well <laughs> reducing the number of capacitors. Um, this will also carry over when we do resistors as well. But show one step at a time. So for example, first thing to do is look at my circuit and find something that's in series or parallel. In this circuit I can see I have a choice. The 2 and the 4 are in parallel and the 24 or the 8 are in series. And I'm going to choose the 24 and the 8. I can start with the other but I'm just going to pick with the 24 and the 8 to begin with. So I'll redraw my circuit, but I've got a little gap where the 24 and the 8 were located. So these are in series. When I'm combining things in series, I can look where the series combination starts on the original circuit and where it stops. So it starts above the 24 and stops below the 8. So what I'm going to do is identify those on my new circuit. So there's the two dots on my new circuit. And the 24 and the 8 will combine in series to replace that gap right there. So to figure out what capacitor goes there, I'll add up the capacitors in series. So that's 1 over the total is equal to the sum of the inverses. So 1 over the total equals 1 over 24 plus 1 over 8. Find a common denominator, combine my terms, and I get 4 over 24, which becomes 1 over 6 microfarads. But remember, 1 over the answer is equal to 1 over 6. So the answer is actually equal to 6 microfarads. So that gap is replaced with a capacitor of 6 microfarads. Next step, repeat these, the cycle or this algorithm. I gotta find something that's in series or parallel on my new circuit, the second circuit. The second circuit has a four, a two, and a six all in parallel with each other. That's great. So I'll start drawing my circuit on the other side and I'll stop where the parallel combination begins. So these three are gonna combine to give me a new capacitor right there. Now, how do I combine my capacitors? Well, in my mind, I think of it as a wire connecting just the top half of the capacitors and a wire connecting just the bottom half of the capacitors. And then I'm going to identify that on my new circuit, but instead of a wire, I'm going to make it a point. So I'll shrink the top half down to a point, shrink the bottom half down to a point. And that's where I'm going to combine my new parallel combination of capacitors. So they're going to combine to give me that one capacitor right there. Since they're in parallel, their capacitances just add up. So 6 plus 4 plus 2 that's going to give me 12 microfarads. So 12 microfarads becomes the new capacitor. 